is good everybody and welcome back to the channel today we're taking this sneaker right here which is worth about twenty five twenty six thousand dollars we're trying to sell the sneaker stores we're gonna see what they offer we're gonna get offers from multiple stores and let you guys in the comments pick what we should do should we trade them should we sell them should we keep them so if you guys don't know what these are these came in the hundred thousand dollar mystery box i'll give you a little bit of a preview that's all you get. So let's now head to some stores and see what they offer for these. Let's go. Oh, and we're also bringing these Sakura Air Force Ones right here. These are valued at about $11,000. See if they even know what these are. Two crazy rare shoes that we got recently. We're taking those shoes to the store, but at the same time, we're actually dropping off my Huracan to get wrapped. It's black right now, but we're going to be changing the color. So we have to take both cars to drop it off. I also just picked up some crazy pieces for the car. We're getting some carbon fiber fenders put on. These are gonna be wrapped. The vented louvers right there will be exposed carbon. So these are going on. Just thought I'd let you guys know. All right, guys, we just got over to Sugarloaf Mills. We got the two shoes hidden in these JD sports bags. They have no clue what we're bringing. I told them we're gonna come by and film. They have no clue. Let's hope we can get some good offers today. Let's head into the mall. All right, guys, we made it into ATL Addictions. Andre, what's up? We're back. What's going on, guys? Causing trouble oh, again. Yeah, no, all right. Man, you guys bother me too much. Bro. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we have a pair of shoes for you today okay. that we want to show you, get your reaction, and then see about a potential trade. And then we're going to compare this trade to another store and just in general, see what an offer would be on this shoe. Okay. Do you have any idea what it would be? No guesses. Nah. No idea. Anything that it hasn't come out or? Uh, it's, it's out, it's been out for a while. It's been out? Nothing. All right, I'll, I'll show you the box and then I'll, I'll see if you can guess. I, I won't show you the tag, all right? So what's a four? A four. Travis's? No, not Travis's. It's a four? It's been out? Yep. I can think of any hype four that's come out recently. So. It's not recent, but it's a re-release of a shoe. Oh, it's a re-release. Four? <laughs> nah, I can't even think, bro. To All be right, honest. let's go for it. Let's see what you All think. Right. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay. She knows the four? Yeah, it's definitely seen those before. Yeah. What do you think about those? Yeah, definitely nice, though. I always these are real. There's I bring in fake shoes a lot. These are real. You can even tell by you know even the material, the feel. They're proper. Just, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, we're trying to get a, a value on these and see what potentially we could do as far as a shoe trade, if if possible. To be honest, I have not even had one in person or seen one in person. Yep. So I don't. I haven't even checked what the market value on these yep. things are. So I. Would, I have be, to do some research. It'd be hard to do anything without, yeah, without doing the research. But yeah, we can definitely look into it and see. That's what we're going to do. We'll let him do some research because this is like a rare shoe. And I want to show you one more. I don't know if you've yeah. seen it before, though. This is an interesting one. There we go. Seen that? Box. I think I've seen the box. i seen this box, but I don't know. Oh, this is like a custom box, though, right? No. It's not? It's the official box. Okay, so uh, maybe I've seen the box, but I can't think of. Uh, I don't think I've seen this one. Have you seen those before? Mm -hmm. No. It's like a super ultra rare Sakura. They're going for like 11 grand. They're Damn. called the Uno Sakura. I just didn't know if you've seen those before. It's like a laser uh, etched swooshless Air Force yeah. One. Not my style. Bro. Not your style? Yeah, <laughs> not for 11K? Yeah, not for, exactly, yeah, not for 11K. All right, what are you thinking? It's a hard one, not knowing that there's not a lot of sales and not even a lot of issues maybe out. Um, but just doing some research, I think the lowest ask was like 30k or something like yep. that. The highest offer is about 11,000. Just based off of that, I would say maybe like 12 to 15k, maybe. 12 to 15. Yeah, that's what I would think. Um, I think that would be a pretty good fare or a trade. Like I said, without with, with the fact that knowing that. They're probably not out there or not a lot of people will have if i was to buy it it'd probably be kind of hard to sell it to because not a lot of people would pay if i paid 12 to 15k i probably try to sell it for like 20k or plus yeah. so not a lot of people will spend 20k on the shoe but in my opinion i think it's it would be worth it for somebody that's 
looking for this kind of shoe. So 12 to 15. So the market that we had it at is obviously the sell, like if you're buying it, it's harder than selling it. So buying it, we saw it at around tw in the mid 20s. That's like what you can buy it on stock X4 right. essentially. So, all right, so we're at like 12 to 15. Now, what if we potentially pulled some items that could maybe be a trade? Do you think maybe we could do something like that? We could probably just see trade. something. Yeah, we could see something, yeah. To see where the value's at maybe and kind of mock it up. So yeah. we're gonna do that now. We'll pull some items to see what we can do. Maybe this could be one. That's fire. I'm in love with those. Yeah, I actually double up on this one, so I'm selling one. I kept one and I'm selling another one. So maybe this could be a trade. All right. Uh, so maybe some OG 90s. Now what about, this would be funny, the Supreme bike. The Supreme bike? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that probably, that I mean. That could be like, you know, 3K towards yeah, it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that happened. We, the bike came back into my life. If you don't know, I traded them that bike. Yeah, that was, uh, what, about a year ago, maybe? Yeah. A little bit longer? Yeah. yeah. Uh, that would be a good trade, but I don't know if I'm ready to get rid of that <laughs> yeah. one yet. Yeah. Uh, so well, do we want to do math and see what we come out with? Or you yeah, let's, do that let's, bring them, let's bring them there and then we'll, okay. put, we'll kind of add it up. See where we are, I think. Well, I don't think we're close yet, but let's just figure it out. Yeah, let's we see. So we got like 11 shoes so far. We've got some Air Forces, off whites, two off whites. Looking pretty crazy. This is like, honestly, this is probably like halfway there too, which is nuts. We're getting there. Right now we're at 10k, so 10k. We need a few more. A few more. We need a few more. Let's see. Let's go check what out are, the case. We have a couple. Maybe we could do a blazer. I think we got a couple blazers. Four. Chunky donkeys. Didn't get a pair of those. Oh yeah, chunky donkeys. That's right. Yeah. You did chunky donkeys, and uh, no, you got a. I guess you have a couple pairs of those, but any yeah. of these would be crazy. Okay. You know what? Let's throw this one. In there. I'll do this one. So I was gonna say the skunk would be a good one. Yeah. That might get us there. Yeah, that's probably gonna get us. These two probably get us there. There it is. 1400. 14,000. I mean 14,000. This, that's what it would take. These. So we have mochas. One, one shoe. One shoe for. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 shoes. We have, these are the Kith Air Force Ones, Off-White Air Max, Off-White Fives, Grateful Deads, Unions, Yeezy, Veneer. These are these went up so much. The Skunks, Chunky Dunkies, Yeezy, one 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 Mocha Sylvester, the Blues for one pair. For one pair. Is so, it worth it? Is it worth it? You guys are gonna be the judge. We're gonna show you these trades, and then you guys are gonna vote what you think the move is. Now, that's fourteen thousand one hundred roughly before tax. And then what would be the cash side of it? What do you think would be fair? Cash side, if like I was said. to offer cash for me to make money, more. that's what I'm saying. I feel like it'd be hard to sell it, but probably move under 20k. I would say just because I said 20,000 is a lot of money for anybody to spend. Yeah. So if for you price is like 18k, I'll say it might go. So for me to cash offer like 12k, 12, 12k, 12, 13 maybe. Say 12.5. Yeah. 12, so 12.5 or 14.1 yeah. uh, trade for all these shoes. Yeah. That's what we've come to. Now we're gonna present it in a poll once we get through the rest of the video. This is what they come up with. Keep a tally of what we have, keep it in your minds, and we're gonna see, we're gonna hold this, we're gonna get a picture so he knows, and so maybe we'll come back and see what we can do. If I trade, I might, I might wear it. I don't know I might yet. wear it, ooh. That's your size. It's, nah, it's, it's a, half, a half size smaller, but maybe we can make it work. Nine and a half? I don't know. Yeah, I'm in love with this shoe, and if this was a 10 and a half, it would be very hard for me not to wear it. All right, guys, so that's the first one. Now we're gonna get our uh, thumbnail here and everything, and we're gonna head to the next door, and we're gonna see what we can do 
which is going to be better get your guys opinions in the poll all right guys i gotta hop in here and give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video which is going to be rejuvenator which is the only sneaker cleaning company that i use for my sneakers now if you guys wear your sneakers which i hope you do and you've ever worn them out and got them dirty like these off-white jordan fours right here rejuvenator has the products to go ahead and clean your shoes and make them like new again they offer a wide range of products including even these acrylic cases for the sneakers that i display but they have products such as the sneaker cleaning wipes they have a full sneaker cleaning wash they have water and stain repellent they have washer pods so you can go ahead and do a deep clean on your shoes there are so many different products you can get from rejuvenator to go ahead and keep your products clean going into this new year so go ahead if you guys want to go ahead and get any rejuvenator products go ahead and check out the link in the description down below my favorite products if you're asking me are the secret cleaning wipes and the water and stain repellent the secret cleaning wipes are so nice because you can keep these in your car and have them when you're on the go if you spill something on your shoe you can go ahead and wipe it off with the secret cleaning wipe right here so like i said go ahead and check out the link down below and thank you to rejuvenator for sponsoring this video All right, guys, so we just got over to Hype, and we're going to show him the shoes. We love showing him some of the shoes. You ready, Con? Any guesses? Guess it's Jordan 1. Jordan 1? You were asking if it's a Jordan 1 already. So we'll bring him the first pair. We have two pairs to show you. Let's go ahead and hand you those. they from JD Sports. Let's see. Recognize that box? Jordan 4 green, Clementine black, black and green. It's just a sample tag. Sample tag, yo. Let's see if you've seen these before. Think about those. You said 2017, pair? 18, yep. 2018, 2016. Yeah, because Jordan Brand Day secretly released these yep. in 2017, 2018 for like certain people. Celebrities. Yeah, because I saw these people saying these for like 17, 18, 20. Yep. 25k depending on size uh let's see what size are these nine and a half obviously he's seen these before this is the not the original pair but we're gonna let him research kind of see where the value is we got one more shoe to show him but this is not one for trader things just to see his reaction those before now i've never seen these before but it's interesting yeah swoosh is there first one andre from atl addictions i haven't seen him either but i just thought i'd show you them see if you'd uh, seen them before we'll now get some value and then we're gonna see if we can uh maybe come up with something in this case. We always come here and we never really end up with anything in the case because Con likes to hold on, but let's see if we can maybe work something. These are real too. I know I bring fake shoes in sometimes, but I think you could tell by the quality. Yeah, I know. You can tell because uh, you know what a crazy thing? We had an original pair back in 2017. All right, well, we're gonna take some minute, let him do some research and we'll come back. We'll get his price value and then we'll potentially look into some stuff with the trades. All right, so Khan's been talking about it. You've been seeing some of these for sale, right? Yeah, I've seen like on Facebook group, I've seen a few people that post these for sale. What do you think as far as like, what would be your idea of a, a price on those? Like for you, you have, you're selling them in your store, obviously if you buy them, so what would be like a price for you? Like if I'm saying it would be around 20. You'd sell for at 20? If I'm buying, it's gonna be lower, of course. So I was thinking around 16. 16? So yeah, you have to obviously have to make room for profit margin. So you must be in 16K. Yeah. I'm sure I need a little more room in there. Yeah, exactly. That's fair. Yeah, we the previous offer we had was twelve five. Not it was you know Andre. He's saying twelve five to sell at like seventeen. But let's see maybe what you would potentially would be something that you would trade for these. And I know we could do like a ton of these shoes, but you've got heaters. What would be something that would be like a comparable trade to you for those? Something just went missing. One shoe. It's good enough. What, what size I know, are of these? Of course, these are going to sell more. This is size eight. Size eight. So that's that's for you. That's a good trade there. No, these and something else. These and something else. Because these are what around like. Because I buy you these around ten. Ten. ten use ten. So like those and like maybe one other. Ooh, the fives. Yeah, stock Tokyo five. Tokyo fives. Yeah, those are those are fire. So these two. This is gonna be there's gonna be a poll and, and people are gonna vote which which trade they like. So one undefeated four for two shoes. What do you guys think about something like that with air mags? These are used air mags, about around 10, then Japan fives. Or oh man, those are way more than those. Those are insane. Yeah, if you guys don't know what these are, these are the Paris dunks. These are going absolutely crazy now. He's got them at 25K. I assume they're used, so 25K used. These dead stock are worth about 20 in the sellable market. So what do you guys think? 
one for one, it would have to be cash on top, or two shoes, the Air Mags, and a Tokyo's. What do you guys think? Because the last store we went to, there was like 13 sneakers. So it was like big trade. It was like off-whites, chunky dunkies. That's why we wanted to see the comparison because you've got a good selection of like other stuff that's, you know, not a bunch of shoes. Like, what do you have the, what the, what the dunks? Those are like 10, right? I bought you around six. Six, six okay. Years. So you can even do like these and like what the dunks, something like that. Two more gems. Let's see, we got the Freddies. And the what the dunks. These are the London. Yeah, these, I saw Travis was wearing these and these went mm -hmm. crazy. These for these would be like the crazy, my craziest pick of a trade, I think. Obviously these two, but I feel like the, the combination of these two, would be like crazy. And obviously he's got like all the off whites down there, a couple other, the Red Octobers, but I, I'm in love with these. So yeah guys, those were the few little options there. I think we had some good ones to me, the Air Mags and the What Does, those are like my favorite. Well, so we obviously had the 16K, that's that's his margins for, he thinks it'll be selling around 20, which makes sense. On StockX, they're at about like 24, but I'm sure if you made a good offer to somebody on StockX, they would probably take it, but that's where we had those at. So now we gotta head home, show you guys and compare on the screen, the two, the options that we had, and you guys are gonna vote in a poll what you think the best options are. Let's go. All right guys, we are back with the two pairs of shoes and we have four offers to consider. So for these sneakers right here, we weren't really looking for like a serious offer on them. They're just kind of a cool sneaker to show people. They had never even seen them, so they didn't even seem that interested. I think it's an interesting and cool sneaker, but I guess they don't really have any interest in them. I also definitely should have brought these Freddies with me because I feel like these would've been cool to see, especially because Hype had the regular pair of these. I don't know, I should've brought them. The question is, God, I love this shoe after doing all these videos. The question is, do we actually consider these options to sell? Do we take a cash offer? Do we take a sneaker trade or whatever it is? Again, we have the Undefeated 4, a glorious shoe, such an amazing shoe. I've got our offers written down. The first place we went to was ATL Addictions. Now, ATL Addictions told me that they would be willing to pay $12,500 cash for this sneaker. Now. For me, that price is already too low for me to consider because this shoe goes for about $25,000. $25,000 to the right buyer. Now, to me, I would rather wear these at $12,500, honestly. But they did propose a pretty interesting trade with a bunch of sneakers. Now, those sneakers were about $14,100. I would say real market value, those are probably like $12,500 worth because when you're in a store, the price is a little bit higher. But those sneakers consisted of the Kith Air Force One. We had the Off-White Air Max 90, the Off-White Jordan 5 Sale, the Grateful Dead SB in yellow. We have the Union, which are going for like 2,500 bucks. Pair of Yeezy 700 V3s, is that what those are? I totally forget. The Veneers, the Mochas, the Blue Jordan 1s, Nigel Sylvester's, and the Yeezy 350 V2 black. Now, if I'm being honest, I have had or had within the past month, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven out of these sneakers. Now, that 14,100, I think to me that doesn't really make that much sense. Now, there's go like I said, there's gonna be a poll down below in the description that's going to have the different options that you I want you guys to select what we should do. Now, again, we don't have to pick any of the options. We can just keep the shoe. That's that's a big option and I'm, it's a highly considered option. So the next trade, which gets a little interesting, is going to be with Hype. Now, Hype offered $16,000 or $16,500? $16,000 cash for this sneaker, which is actually a considerable amount of money because selling these is gonna be tough and finding a buyer. So 16,000 is pretty good. And especially cause this is a pretty good size. So that's a considerable offer. That's gonna be one that we can highly consider. The different trade options we had were number one, it was a Nike Air Mag in the Jordan 5 Tokyo. Now that is a very comparable trade in my opinion. The Air Mags are a super sought after shoe. The Tokyos are a very sought after shoe. I I think the Air Mag just have that mm, factor, but is it enough to be more than this? Now, the other trade that I kind of proposed that they considered as well was the Nike Air Mag and then the What The Dunks. Now those What The Dunks brand new are going for a lot, but the What The Dunks, that too, the Air Mags and the Dunks are huge to me. Down below, there's gonna be a straw poll, I believe. There's gonna be five options there. There's going, are there gonna be six options? I don't know if I'm gonna put the 12,000 cash on there because it's so much lower than the other cash offer. It doesn't make sense. So the options are gonna be $16,000 cash, 
All of those sneaker trades from ATL Addictions, Air Mag into Tokyo, Air Mag into What Does, and then the bottom is going to be key for me to keep this shoe and not do anything with it yet. Or maybe I just try to sell it on my website and get $24,000 out of it. Maybe that's the, the really the best option. But let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Another crazy shoe here, maybe something with a Freddy soon, I don't know. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like down below. I'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison, signing out.